I feel like I've been sewing pretty much my whole life. When I was a little girl in elementary school, when I'd get home from school, my mom would often be sewing up in her bedroom. And I loved to crawl up on her bed and play with the scraps, make little doll clothes. I loved playing in her button box. And by the time I was in middle school, I had started to sew my own clothes. And in high school, I increasingly sewed my clothes. Ooh, fabric. It's just wonderful. It's so delicious. Um, and I think, like a lot of sewers, that's part of what draws me to sewing because it holds so much inspiration for me. I see fabrics and all of a sudden in my mind I'm thinking about different things that I could make. I tend to sew on natural fibers more than synthetics, um, but there are some really beautiful polyesters coming out now, so I don't make a hard and fast rule about that. But um, I would say that silk and wool are probably my two favorite fabrics. Wool because it's so forgiving. It's just wonderful to sew on. And actually, I think it's a great fabric for a beginner to use once they, most beginners start with cotton and then when they're ready to move on to something. Silk, of course, comes in so many different varieties, and um, I would say that probably my two favorite silk fabrics are Silk Dupioni, and um, a second one, probably Silk Georgette. Teaching for Pattern Review has been a wonderful experience for me because I've been able to reach so many students who I otherwise wouldn't be able to. I and mean, I have students all over the U.S., but not only that, all over the world. I've had people sign up for my classes from countries I've had to look up on the map. And I just never would have access to teaching that many people and helping to get the information I have out into the public that way without pattern review. I think another thing that's been wonderful about teaching with on pattern review is that we are... Uh, we are evolving. Pattern review itself evolves as technology evolves and as the interest in sewing continues to increase, which is a wonderful thing that's been happening. And as sewers learn, get a certain knowledge base, then they are ready for a different kind of class. So as a teacher, this is a wonderful thing because I'm not just regurgitating the same thing over and over again but I'm having to um, come up with new ways of teaching and figure out what my student audience wants. So that helps me come up with new class ideas. So for me, it's, been, it's just been great, and I have enjoyed working with Deepika a lot. She and I have great conversations and always come up with new ideas about what to do. And, of course, for me, a lot of the fun of teaching, and uh, whether it's with a student or working on my classes, is that collaborative effort. As a teacher, one of the most rewarding things going is when your students help you learn. Now, I may not be learning a whole lot about sewing, but I'm learning about communicating. I'm learning about where new sewers' interests are, where sewers who have some experience, what sorts of information they need. So I learn a lot from my students.